Yeah, could you tell me the difference between the soul and the subconscious? Uh, yes, certainly. There is no subconscious. <laughs> exactly. What people are calling the subconscious is in reality the soul that they're not knowing how to connect with. Their own feelings and emotions and passions and desires and intentions that feel so distant to them that it feels like it's their subconscious leaving them along. So in, the, in regard to that previous example I was giving with the lady who was getting abused, she's saying to herself, oh, there must be something going on subconsciously because Whatever it is, I don't know. Is that, you can see that? She'd be saying that to herself here, wouldn't she? I'm not conscious of what's causing this attraction, so it must be subconscious. But in reality, it's the denial of an emotion that actually the law of attraction is already telling her about. It's already identified to her what is the problem. She just has not wanted yet to feel that feeling. It's pretty hard to feel the feelings of unworthiness, isn't it? So if you don't want to feel them, particularly if they're, you know, they're very, very deep and within you from a very young age, of course you're going to want to deny them. And as soon as you set up an aspect of denial, what you are now doing is you are denying also the law of attraction telling you what is going on within your own soul.